This motorcycle is almost perfect. There's just a few things that it needs. There we go. So while my KLR was in the shop, uh, having the fuel pump recall done on it, uh, all of my gear shipped. The bike is here now, and uh, I'm going to go ahead and do an install on it. I've got the Tusk uh, pannier racks, the Tusk uh, engine guards, and the uh, Enduro Engineering skid plate. Now, also, I want to point out that I did order the... JNS lowering brackets for the pegs. Um, as you probably saw in my last video, I had a little bit of an issue getting my uh, my motocross boot underneath this shift lever because of these pegs. They're, they're just a little bit wide um, and I was having some trouble with it. The people on Facebook said that if you had, um, if you install the lowering bracket for the pegs, it'll actually lower this peg enough to make it comfortable to get your boot underneath here. So we are going to see if this is the solution to the problem. I realized that the last video, it seemed kind of long and lengthy. I think this time we're just going to do a time lapse and then I will do a little bit of a review or a talk over about the lowered foot pegs. So enjoy. <laughs> So the engine guards are now installed and the Enduro engineering skid plate. Yeah, I already, already scratched it up. So at this point, I think it's fair to say I'm going to take a little break. Thank you for calling Medina Gene. You know, it's be for pickup or delivery. Uh, pickup, please. So after that short intermission, we're going to do the rear pan air racks and then we will do the lowered foot pegs last. <laughs> Okay, so my progress has come to a halt. So I think Rocky Mountain ATV sent me the wrong bar with my kit. So if you look at this bar here, look at the angles and the length, and look at this bar in the manual, look how much longer it is. And then when I take this over here, and line this up to where it's supposed to be, I mean, it's like, it's like two inches short on both sides and there's no way it doesn't get, definitely doesn't go underneath it. So that's frustrating. <laughs> Okay, so I'm done tinkering with my motorcycle for the night. I'm gonna have to call them in the morning and see what they can do. So now let's get to the foot pegs. So in my previous video where I replaced the stock foot pegs with these uh, Tusk billet foot pegs, um, I mentioned I had a little bit of an issue getting my motocross boot underneath the shift lever. So by, by having the lowered foot pegs, it actually allows more space for this shift lever. So the shift lever will actually sit a little bit above the foot peg, allowing your toe to get underneath it. The other good thing with these lowered foot pegs 
it will give me about another inch on the handlebars when I stand. Uh, I'm about 6'2", so I do feel myself reaching for the handlebars if I do stand. I usually don't get into anything crazy enough to have me stand. These mounting brackets actually fit better than the stock mounting brackets. You see how these move freely? Yeah, they're supposed to do that, unlike the old stock ones. Okay, so I'm officially done for the night. Um, I've put on every single part that I had delivered to me, minus that tusk pannier rack crossbar for the back. Has anybody else had problems with this? If you did, go ahead and comment below. I, I put it in the Facebook group, but it seems that nobody really knows and I feel like I'm the only one. Rocky Mountain ATV is a great company from what I've experienced so far, so hopefully they can um, maybe send me just the bar and I don't have to take these racks off. Thank you guys for watching. If you like this video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up and uh, catch you next time.